Opening Prayers, Prayer 1. Thanksgiving blessing, O Lord. We thank you for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the ocean and streams, for the towering hill and the whispering wind, for the trees and green grass. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of fields of golden wheat and taste autumn's fruit, rejoice in the feel of snow and smell the breath of spring flowers. Grant us a heart opened wide to all this beauty and save us from being so blind that we pass unseen when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. For each new dawn is filled with infinite possibilities for new beginnings and new discoveries. Life is constantly changing and renewing itself. In this new day of new beginnings with God, all things are possible. We are restored and renewed in a joyous awakening to the wonder that our lives are and yet can be. Amen. Prayer 2 Prayer of Gratitude Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices and provide me with advices to help me with life's difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways so that I always know you are here. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am extremely grateful for all of your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and return acts of kindness. Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Day 15, Scriptures for Meditation, Genesis chapter 17, verse 22. When he finished talking with him, God went up from Abraham. Scripture reference, Luke chapter 11, verse 1. It happened that while Jesus was praying in a certain place, after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John also taught his disciples. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 90, verse 9. For all our days have declined in your fury. We have finished our years like a sigh. Scripture reference, Matthew chapter 7, verse 28. When Jesus had finished these words, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Scripture reference, Matthew chapter 19, verse 30. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Scripture reference, Revelation chapter 20, verse 5. Verse concepts. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. For the gift of the new year 2022 and the blessings therein, prayer for a happy new year. May the Lord make my new year 2022 a happy one, not by shielding me from sorrow and pain, but by strengthening me to bear it if it comes, not by making my path easy, but by making me sturdy enough to tread any path, not by taking hardship from me, but by taking all cowardice and fear from the heart as I meet hardships, not by granting me unbroken sunshine, but by keeping my face bright even in the shadows, not by making my life always pleasant, but by showing me where man and his cause need me most and by making me zealous to be there and to help. God, make my year a happy one. God's will in the new year 2022. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me whatever you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. Into your hands I commend my spirit. I offer it to you with all the love that is in my heart. For I love you, Lord, 
and so want to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands, without reserves and without boundless confidence, for you are my Father. Amen. Credo for the New Year 2022 I believe that I enter a glorious New Year, to be filled with prayer and praise, with service to God and mankind, with inspired creative activity. I believe that God's presence goes with me wherever I shall go this year, by train or car or boat, slowly paced on foot or high in air. I believe His love is shining in my body, His wisdom guides my mind, His peace fills me with poise, His strength is ever at my call. Oh, I believe that this is God's new year. A New Year Prayer 2022 We pray for healing, prepare us for surprises. For strength, prepare us for surprises. For vision, prepare us for surprises. For transformation, prepare us for surprises. For messengers and messages, prepare us for surprises. For community, prepare us for surprises. For acceptance of ourselves and others, prepare us for surprises. For making room at our tables, prepare us for surprises. For truth seeking, prepare us for surprises. For support, prepare us for surprises. For common ground, prepare us for surprises. Walk beside us, O Holy One, as we question and welcome, as we challenge and invite, as we discover and understand, as we see, touch, taste, smell, and listen for the newness awaiting us in 2022. May we, your holy people, walk forward together side by side. Amen. Litany of Thanksgiving. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. O oh God, you have decreed from eternity to do good to us. You have employed your power, wisdom, and love for our benefit. Moment by moment, you bestow new blessings on us. You have not withdrawn your generous hands from us. Have mercy on us. Because you have made us in your own image, because you have raised us up, to a goal beyond this life, because you have given us immortal soul, because you have made it possible to know you, love you, and enjoy you forever, because you have given so many creatures for our service, because you have kept and nourished us to this day in your fatherly goodness, because you have given us the holy apostles as our shepherds and teachers, because you have redeemed us from the captivity of hell by the passion of your dear Son, because you have made us members of your holy Christian church, because you have given us the holy sacraments for our salvation, because you have given us your means of grace, because you have not rejected and condemned us for many past sins, because you have saved us from innumerable sins of soul and body. We thank you, O Lord, for all your gifts and blessings, natural and supernatural, for all our inward and outward sufferings, for all your fatherly correction and discipline, for all your gifts and blessings which we have never yet fully known, for all your gifts and blessings which we have never yet duly treasured up, for all your gifts and blessings which we have so often sinfully misused, for all your gifts and blessings which you have bestowed on our relatives, benefactors, friends, and enemies, for all your gifts and blessings which you have bestowed on all the family of mankind. We thank you, O Lord. In unity with the church militant here on earth, we give you thanks now and until the end of the world, we thank you, O Lord. In unity with the church triumphant in heaven, we give you thanks now and will give you thanks forevermore. We thank you, O Lord. Son of God, we pray. Hear us, Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You are my God, and I will thank you. 
you are my God, and I will praise you. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your saints give thanks to you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, you have shown us the riches of your love and generosity in all their greatness. Show us also your priceless grace and blessing that we may always truly know, treasure and employ them for your honor and our salvation. Through holy use of your word and grace, and in thankful love for them, bring us at last where with all your saints and elect, we shall praise and bless your boundless goodness and mercy forevermore. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen.